In this video, I'll show you how to solve equations involving natural logarithm long. The logarithm with base e is called the natural logarithm, and it is denoted by the special notation ln x. So ln x is just a disguise for any logarithm with the base e. I have three questions set out for you here. We'll start with the first one. Here we are expected to solve for x. On the left side we have ln bracket 3x minus 7. On the right side we have 6. Let's write it out. ln 3x minus 7 is equal to 6. To get rid of this ln and to liberate what's inside here, you need to raise both the left and the right side to the base of e. By doing that, what happens is that this e and this ln cancel each other out. And so we're left with 3x minus 7 is equal to e to the power of 6. The reason why this is special is now we can isolate for x. We've liberated the x from the brackets. e to the power of 6, bring this negative 7 over, make it positive, is equal to 3x. And therefore, x is equal to e to the power of 6 plus 7 over 3. Now let's find out what that number is using our calculator. e to the power of 6 plus 7 divided by 3 is equal to 136.80. Wonderful. Let's move on to question number 2. And in order to be successful with question number 2, you do need to know the properties of logarithms. You'll notice that on the left side, you have 2 ln 2 plus ln x is equal to ln 3. Now, 2 ln 2 can be changed to ln 2 to the power of 2. Because one of the properties of logarithms is that if you have a coefficient at the front, it becomes the power of what's here. So this technically equals to ln 4. Plus ln x is equal to ln 3. So what I'm going to do next is use another property of logarithms. And the property that I'm going to use next is that if you have two logarithms being added to each other, this and this number can be a product. This is known as the product rule. Let me demonstrate ln 4, and I've just evaluated 2 to the power of 2, which is 4, times x is equal to ln 3. Notice what I did here. ln 2 to the power of 2 is 4, and I made it as a product of the 2. Product meaning that they're both being multiplied together. Now we're going to use the idea from above, from the previous question, that if you were to raise both the left and the right side to the base of e, that cancels out the lawns. This and this are canceled, and you end up with 4x is equal to 3. You isolate for x quite easily by dividing both sides by 4, and you get 3 quarters. Let's move on to question number 3 now. Question number 3 is the hardest of the, of the 3 here. And they are expecting us to solve the logarithmic equation ln 11x plus ln x plus 8 is equal to ln x plus 4. Now we're going to use many of the properties of logarithms. And one of those properties is the combination of these two. Notice ln 11x will be a product of these two. So 11x times x plus 8 is equal to ln x plus 4. Another thing that you could do here is bring this over to the left side. Watch. Now, of course, it really depends on how you approach this. You could approach this in many different ways. This is the way I would approach it. ln 11x x plus 8 minus ln x is equal to 4. Now the reason why I've done this is because we know another property of logarithms that if you have two logarithms being subtracted, you can actually put them on top of each other as a division. ln 11x 
x plus 8 over x is equal to 4. Now there's a real big reason why this is special. One of the reasons is that this x and this x will cancel out gracefully. So you're left with ln 11x plus 8 is equal to 4. Now another reason why that was special is because now you can raise both the left and the right side to the base of e. And what that does is it cancels out. Well, not that side. Let's erase that. It cancels out this lawn, leaving us with this. 11x plus 8 is equal to e to the power of 4. We can now divide both sides by 11, leaving us with x plus 8 e to the power of 4 over 11 and subsequently we can bring this number here giving us x create some more room x is equal to e to the power of 4 over 11 minus 8 we're going to calculate the right side e to the power of 4 over 11 minus 8 is equal to approximately negative 3.03. Now, what we can do to double check our work is apply this number to our formula to see if it matches to both the left and the right side. So let's do that as a check. We're going to use ln 11 times the answer, the number we just got, plus ln the answer, the number we just got, plus 8. And that gives us an error. The reason why we got that error is because this number is negative. And one of the biggest restrictions with ln is that, let's say we have ln a, a needs to be greater than 0. Unfortunately, the answer we found negates that A value. Therefore, the moral of this story is always look for restrictions, even if you end up with a value that represents X. And there you have it. That is how to solve equations containing natural logs. If you found this tutorial helpful, please support our channel by subscribing or by liking this video. If you have any further questions, you may visit our website at biology-forums.com. We are an online service for students seeking free homework help. See you soon.